Hello you beautiful people out there. If you don't know, I am Jedi and I am a fourth year medical student. And in this video, basically, I will discuss uh, with all of you that how I basically remind all those 19 subjects. Yeah, that's a big deal for all those medicals out there. So I'm gonna share a few master strategy out there which will indeed enhance your way of learning. So basically there are three phase of reading like first you have to go through the first round that is just going throughout uh, every chapter one by one one by one or by watching the videos and secondly you have to go through that um, in you know uh, sequence wise and thirdly you have to just keep your vision intact and just turn out the page and you will realize that everything is just gonna getting in your mind like you know you have read before so whenever you go through any topic no matter related to medical career or not just try to follow three things your visual skill your audio skill and your writing skill because these three things works in a proper coordination and especially in my case i also do same things to enhance my uh, learning capability you know and um, first of all there are three phases which i already said you earlier you need to go through first time uh, on a rapid basis and secondly you have to uh, intact your vision uh, towards your content and turn out the pages and basically your a second round and third round totally depends on how your revision is going on how much time you daily gives to that uh, uh, revision second time third time that's basically makes your memory sharp since i'm a medical student so in my case you know there are a lot of diseases their diagnosis their clinical manifestation and their treatment and there are 19 subjects and how i remind all those 90 subjects that's a really a tough criteria for all those medicals out there there are a lot of obstacles out there and we are not able to tackle through uh, that situation it really feels a lot of uh, you know a struggle hard works to get out through those all you know obstacles that come in series especially in case of medical student you know what so how basically i used to remind all those things how basically i used to tackle through all the situation out there so basically what i do is i just try to uh, sort out the things and made a story i just try to construct the story from the topic that is going on for example in uh, medicine there is a case related to cns uh, injury that is epidural hemorrhage and uh, how i uh, came to know that what happens in epidural hem hemorrhage so i know that there was a bike ride who was going through his bike and uh, uh, suddenly he got an accident and he failed on road and uh, he felt unconscious uh, again he woke up and came to the doctor and while uh, having the conversation with his doctor he felt again unconscious so there is a period of unconscious conscious and unconscious this is called lucid interval this is the process how I remind this uh, short story I just intact that in my mind and I am able to present in front of you, uh, all of you so this is one thing and second thing is that whenever uh, you are reading any topic or going through any topic just try to um, create any type of you know uh, mnemonics a sort of mnemonics not mnemonics basically mnemonics is also what we used to forget so i'm gonna giving few example which is displaying on the screen so you have one minute just uh, you can go through the following things and i will catch your memory power so hope you have been uh, went through my content so these all five things displayed on the screen is you know skin epithelium layer there are five type of skin epithelium layer that are stratum corneum stratum lucidum stratum granulosum stratum uh, spinosum and stratum basal and how i remind all those things this is what i read in first year of mbbs in during anatomy reading histology of the tissues and still i remember this is just because i made a short uh, mnemonics for example there was a patient who have a lesion in his eyes and has a lucid interval and he went to the doctor the doctor found a granules like structure in his spinal base so this is what how i relate these things which is displayed on the screen so what i mean here is a person with his lesion in her cornea means stratum corneum and a lucid interval means stratum lucidum went to the doctor and the doctor found granules like a structure means stratum granulosum in his spinal base means stratum uh, spinosum and stratum uh, basal so this is how i remind all those things in just making a few mnemonics so without any further ado let's proceed towards another example so uh, just before proceeding i want you to subscribe my channel because it really needs a lot of efforts while making videos for all of you because since i am studying and making videos it really needs a lot of hard work so please subscribe if you haven't so let's look another example in case of a small intestine there is a gland called crypts of liver cone there are six cells in it uh, namely astrocyte cell uh, goblet cell panate cell m cell neck cell and um, stem cell so how i remind these just simply by constructing a story that there are 
गॉबलेट एंड पेनेसल आर विलन हेयर सो एंट्री ऑफ विलन दैट इज गॉबलेट एंड पेनेसल विच ब्रेक्स द मास्टर सेल स्टेम नेक मीन्स वेन गॉबलेट सेल एंड पेनेसल विलन एंटर देयर देन दे ब्रेक्स द नेक स्टेम ऑफ मास्टर सेल सो एंट्री हेयर मीन्स एस्टेरोसाइड एंड गॉबलेट एंड पेनेसल आर टू विलन्स आउट हेयर दैट रिल एंड थर्ड थिंग दैट breaks the neck stem of nec that uh, neck means neuroendocrine cell and master here relates with uh, m cell and uh, simply last is stem that is stem cell so these are the six type of cell that are present in the crypts of liver kun try to make the things easy lightly don't go through all those words because they makes you confuse you know just try to highlight those Uh, important words because when you go through everything whatever has been written on the pages you will feel a lot of confusion and a lot of you know irritation and you will seriously you will just try to get off from the study you know so just try to highlight all those important things point out what is necessary what is not and right now i'm going to discuss the basic tool for revision for all those toppers out there good student out there just try to solve as much as question we can because the question is what uh, tells at what is important what is not so just try to go thoroughly through the all the question out there suppose you wrote a topic and just try to you need you don't need to consume each and everything you know so there are all 19 books we can't remind each and everything all the, of all those 19 books so basically what we need to do is that we need to solve each question related to all those topic out there and that tells us that basically tells us what is important for you and what is not and this is a proper criteria which will enhance your way of learning so uh, with this expectation that will uh, my video will help you to enhance your learning capability i just quit my today's video and just don't forget to like it share it and subscribe it if you haven't thank you for watching my video